Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. I am Huck, and there it is, the swap meet. This is the last and final swap meet, y'all, ever here in Santa Clarita. They're gonna mow this thing down, turn it into condos or something, who knows what. But look, let's have some fun. Let's get in there. Um, I'm gonna set myself a limit of 40 bucks today, and also, I'm gonna try to find at least one thing in each of my hotspots. El Jefe, the trash pile, the corner, and the arena. So, let's get inside and see what we can get. <laughs> All right, y'all, here we go. The very last swap meet ever. <sighs> well, uh, it's gonna be bittersweet, but we'll try to hit all the hot spots for you guys. El Jefe, the trash pile, the corner, the works, even the arena. And see if we can walk away with one final shebang. Well, first bad news is El Jefe isn't here. This is his sweet spot. Uh, maybe he'll be back a little later. So we'll come back and check. Oh, and here's a, a corner I saw something at uh, before. Let's go take a look. All right, here we go. Now we can see the whole bottom row. Still some DVDs mixed in there. And a few Blu-rays. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if any of these call my name. And by the way, I'm holding this so everything doesn't fall down, so I can't really pull them out. All right, here they are. Got to hold these so nothing falls over, but uh, here's the Blu-ray. Still some DVDs tucked in there, but this is all they have for Blu-rays, so. We'll see if any of these call my name. Dude just bought out this other box here. Now this is the box that was here last time because as you can see, there's the Honeymooners again, still sealed. So yeah, I'm predicting a lot of the same stuff. Yeah, there's the Get Smart and Yes Man. See again, I have Yes Man, so I'm not inclined to pick this one up. So let's keep looking. All right, well, a little bummed out that El Jefe isn't here. I would have loved one last hoorah over at his table. His has always been the best for all the times I've come here. He's got the most to look through. Odds are I'll always find something with him, but um, ah, not today. I, I, I will go back a little bit later. I don't know, just in case he's like not coming in at the crack of dawn, but uh, we're gonna go head into the arena next. But as we do, let's bid farewell to the food truck and the band that's usually playing their hearts out. So good job, y'all. Knock them dead today. Hope they make a ton of money. All right, here we are going into the arena. And you know, what the heck, we're gonna go to my high priced dude over here uh, who always charges way too much. Top dollar. But you know, this is one last hoorah and one, <laughs> one bright sun. So let's see if he's handing out deals. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. Uh, I did not see the dude here. That guy was not here, but you know, he's always full price, so uh, that's probably for the best. I never seem to find anything oh, like this tub right here. Just take a peek straight down into it. A bunch of DVDs. Not seeing anything special, so. All right, y'all, up ahead is the trash pile one final time. But let's check this little blue bucket first. Let's see, this is what was here before. A lot of DVDs. What is this here? Hiding Montreal. Hill. All right, so no score in the blue bucket today. But here we go, one final round into the trash pile. So let's strap on my uh, knee-high boots, hazmat suit, <laughs> and get in there. Oh, Lord. All right, steady as we go. Tub number one. Let's peek around. I feel like we're just going to step on everything. Uh, let's see what we can find. A little, little noir box. I'm not a big noir guy, but this is a, a nice little DVD for noir movies. If I were into that, I might pick that up. What else we got? I'm trying to find something that calls to the old huckster. Nope. Oh, no, wait. Here's an old junky sci fi movie. This calls to me. Uh huh. Some uh, noir. Some more noir stuff here. More noir. What else we got in this old tub of Oh, another cheesy sci-fi. I've never heard of this thing. It looks terrible. I'm picking it up. Check out this old box of 45s. 
Uh, there's probably some gems in here, but I don't have a turntable and <laughs> no way to play them. But I bet you there's some, if somebody collects these, I bet there's some gems in there. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Sadly, here's some just laying on the ground, getting all scratched. All right, y'all. I'm not seeing a ton of movies today. It's just uh, thing after box after box, tub after tub. Yeah, usually there's a, a, a good pile of movies. They got games here. We got plenty of games. Uh, yeah, I may have found the few movies that they had today. Check out these old premieres here. Michael Keaton instead of Batman. That's cool. What is this one? Oh, Ron Howard. Far and away. I used to collect these mags. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Look at everything here. Baseball cards. <laughs> Junk. Actually, found another bunch of uh dvd boxes not a bunch but a couple of boxes here so we'll dig through these oh check it out gold roger moore uh i have a soft spot for this one um i watched that in africa when i was in africa in the sudan with my dad so uh, i got the blu-ray of that but you know maybe i'll do a, a huxtamization with it do a consolidation yeah Ooh, hang on what are these here? Little old school Dick Tracy black and white cereals. Yeah. Now check this out. I got I always open these to check. I knew it. I just knew there's going to be something missing in this one. So I was going to pick this up just to give them a watch, but pass. Farewell, trash pile. I knew you will. <laughs> Yeah, you know, through the years, we found some actual decent stuff in the trash pile. I like to call it that because, you know, look at it. They just, you know, no tables, no nothing, everything on the ground. But uh, the lady's delightful. Adios, amiga. Uh, they do a great job. So, uh, you know, found a couple of things in the trash pile. No Blu-rays this time. But let's turn the corner here. Turn around. Go the back way. We'll go to the corner next. Okay, not going to lie. That's a pretty hilarious Three Stooges poster. That's right. Get it, Mo this thing sweet camera old vhs machine <laughs> all in a briefcase that is pretty sweet so wow everything is a dollar on this table you know these original disney vhs is still wrapped all of these are still wrapped oh my god if i was a collector of like mint disney vhs's <laughs> score nice but uh, everything's a dollar on this table. Well, let's check out these Blu-rays. All right, let's start the digging. Just gonna do a little one hand at a time, one movie at a time. Er, let's see what we got here. Okay, nothing's like just to, oh, Sandlot, y'all. Finally watched that last year, so good. Late to the game, but it was well worth the wait. <sighs> a lot of stuff I already have. Yep, don't need it, don't need it. Yeah, lovely buttons. I've actually never seen this. Huh? Or American Sniper. I uh, already, come here, already have Bridge of Spies. I like that several of these are sealed. Oh, and Inherent Vice? Look at that cast. It's a stacked cast. Hmm. <laughs> Check it out. Michelle Yo action figure from tomorrow never dies. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, this was a pleasant surprise. I, I met the guy here. Everything on that table was a dollar. Everything. All Blu-rays, books. The dude was selling like this cute girl was like getting a stack of books and she her eyes were lit up because she was getting like 30 books for ten dollars uh, i just love seeing like kids today into reading um but yeah i mean what a score over there i did not expect the, in fact that guy says he's only here like once a year and this is the last day this place is open so you know got some little scores over there so all right we're going to the corner now y'all this is where it is the corner it's usually all the uh, same old same old stuff here and it probably will be again, but let's give it a go. Huh. My uh, Blu-ray guy is usually right over here, but uh, he is not here today. So uh, that's it. I was going to give him one last swing and maybe just grab something just because he's been a good dude, but uh, he is not here today. Wow. So I really had to come to the back of this thing. <laughs> Look what I found down here. This is going to be nuts. Here is a tub filled with it. First, you think it's just album is albums. Oh, no. Here are those old, oh my God, Star Trek II. Oh, 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 oh. On the old school, hang on, let me pinch out a little bit. 
on the old school laser discs before they were the cool laser discs is the ones that are trapped inside <laughs> you know for nostalgia i wonder what he'll sell these for what else we got here i mean star trek that's the best one fiddler on the roof disney another fiddler two fiddlers on the roof my tutor who oh sure thing it's a great movie what else we got and blame it on rio well that is a nice cover but depending on the price i might pick that up hang on i just saw a couple more in the front here we got 10 commandments we got two of those splash now that's pretty awesome it's in good shape and what is this one <laughs> blue thunder so guys got a couple of good ones here what else what is this one what is this one here <laughs> the missionary all right okay so that's all of them well i will say my friends for the the last hoorah there are some little nuggets uh, hiding around here and there a few surprises some nostalgic craziness um so yeah we are definitely uh, not coming away uh, empty-handed but uh we might be kind of finding the last of the deals but you know let's not give up this is the last day let's dig around every single nook and cranny and may i say there are a lot of crannies all right check it out look at this little tiny supply here not a lot to pick from all dvds but this little muppet show thing i don't have any of the muppet show seasons on dvd so if it's the right price maybe ah yes farewell kona ice truck thanks for all those delicious snow cones today's rocking flavors check them out Ooh, <laughs> gotta love some tiger's blood but yeah, this is fun, y'all. I want to thank you so much for just coming on these trips with me for years now to the swap meet. Uh, but you know, it's coming to a glorious end uh, today. But um, you know, again, a lot more rows to check out before we say farewell. Okay, check out this particular stand, <laughs> the old Paradise Williams. A lot of the stuff in this tub, aside from the couple I just grabbed, a lot of them, if you look at the ratings, the 12 and 12, these are all imports. So that's interesting. Like, I wonder why it's so chock full of Region 2, Region B stuff, but there you go. Even this uh, TV show Dynasty, it's all, there it is. It's got the warning labels. So these are clearly not the uh, US releases, but still pretty cool. Y'all, what's up, man? Check it out. We're here at Gilbert's stand. What's up, Gilbert? What's going on? Man, are you are you bummed that, that they're shutting down or what? Uh, yes and no. You know, it's, it's cool. It's been a long road here. I've been coming here since the 90s, but it is what it oh, is. Time, time, yeah, time for a change, and uh, I'm getting told for this stuff anyway. <laughs> I've been here. It's, it's a lot of work. It's are, a lot of work. Are you going to try to go to another swap meet? Uh, I've always done it on and off, different areas and stuff like that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So yeah, so this this could be the swan song maybe. Yeah, well it's pretty busy today. So. Have you been doing well? How'd you do? No, today? no, no. I sold a bunch of stuff already. So yeah, it's a lot of it. There's a lot of movie cool. people. A lot of movie people. Yeah, look, he's got all these 4K sets right here, y'all. Now these are all imports, right? Oh yeah, he's gonna go make a sale, y'all. Nice. <laughs> get that money, man. Get that money, dude. I'll let you get your money, Gilbert. All right, man. Good seeing you, man. Check out his set. All these are like imports, like the James Dean box, Sopranos, all these goodies. So I've never seen any of these. These are all on Blu-ray. Uh, apparently, even though these are overseas, he claims they will all play and they are region free. So, hmm. So let me see what he'll do for this one. <laughs> all right, Gilbert. Dude, hook me up, y'all. Uh, I'll show you all in a second. I was about to show you, but I'm not going to show you. Anticipation. <laughs> so this last section here is just hundreds and hundreds of DVDs, table after table. So it's too much. I'm just going to sort of give it a quick look, y'all, and then uh, we'll call it a day. Well, it's a good thing I came early because it is now super packed here like I've never seen. Uh, it's all because it's the last day. So I guess it was definitely good to get in uh, a little early. But yeah, tons of people here now. But I've definitely gone to all the locations. So... Uh, we found some stuff today. Maybe a little too much today. 
but all at incredible deals. So I can't wait to show y'all what I got. Just looked how packed we are here, y'all. Tons of people grabbing food. It is definitely a full house here today, y'all. We are going out strong at this swap meet. Check it out, the main is in full force. Tons of people like grabbing lunch, dancing, just having a good time at this last swap meet. Woo, what a doozy, y'all. Yeah, I think we're almost done, man. So let's wrap this puppy up, get back to the crib, show you what I got. Woo. Well, we've done it, y'all. Here we are in the parking lot, uh, bidding farewell to the swap meet. Uh, you did as good today, swap meet. What a what a what a big finish, y'all! It was a uh, chock full of people. It got more crowded as the day went on, um, but we managed to snag just about all the deals I can get, and I came in under budget. So it's been quite a good day here at the swap meet. Farewell, swap meet. We knew you well. Now let's get back to the crib, and I'll show you what I got. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are done. El finito. The swap meet is no more. Adieu, swap meet. Uh, what a fun time. Thank you guys so much for always coming along this swap meet ride with me. It's been a lot of fun for the past few years, but it is now sadly over. Uh, any swap meet that's going to happen isn't going to be near me at all, so probably won't be making the long treks for that. This one was only about 15 minutes away, so it was an easy thing. But Let's get to it. Uh, I will say, even though this was the last one, I didn't know what to expect. Some of my vendors weren't there, like El Jefe. So long, El Jefe. Um, but there were some other good turnouts. Let's just start with the trash pile, shall we? Come on, trash pile. You saw it. I love cheesy sci-fi. And there was this first one here, okay? So this is the shape of things to come. I've seen this on Blu-ray. I have it in my uh, wish list on Amazon. It's about 11, 12 bucks. But you know, the reviews are terrible. It looks not great at all. So for $1, we're gonna check this thing out to see if it's any good. Uh, next up is that unknown world. Look at that thing. Like equally super cheesy, maybe even more cheesy. I love the back of it says, previously enjoyed <laughs> was it uh and then because i'm gonna do maybe a little customization a little huxtimization on these two uh as what about bob whenever that comes out on blu-ray i do have a bootleg on that so maybe i'll, I'll customize the boot before i get the real deal and yes like i said i did strike gold <laughs> blam there it is with roger moore this is not to be confused with goldfinger with Sean Connery. Uh, so this movie, um, my dad worked in Africa for um, a, a summer back in 78, 79 or something like that. And uh, so we, we were at this uh, uh, pool club, like they had this pool thing that everyone, you know, met at and, and hung out and did all this good stuff. And so one night they put up a screen and they showed gold. And of course, everyone thought it was going to be Goldfinger because they said Roger Moore, even though he's not in Goldfinger. But everyone was waiting for a James Bond movie. And instead we got gold. So it's not super good, but I do have the Blu-ray. Um, and, and it's just a memory I have with my dad in, in Africa when he was like building sugar factories. That's what he did for a living. Um, so yeah, I picked up the DVD of gold so we can do a little custom consolidation with the Blu-ray that I have. All right, let's put these over here and go to the next stack. Okay, this is that $1 table, y'all, where they were, the guy gave that, that girl a bunch of books and all that good stuff. So all of these one dollar those also actually those were 50 cents each so i spent well no no four no five bucks she wanted five bucks for some reason so those were a dollar 25 each these are a dollar each uh I grabbed american sniper which i hadn't seen yet lovely bones two disc special edition y'all directed by peter jackson uh i hear good things about lovely bones uh and of course just for the fun of it i do love the rock journey to the mysterious island what the heck for a buck? Let's give it a give it a swang. And finally, anybody know about Inherent Vice? Let me know if this is a good pickup. I think the covers right. The cover sort of reminds me of One Night in Soho or whatever that movie's called. Um, but yeah, super stacked cast. I'm gonna read it off. It's like ten people on the on the cast list. So uh, I'm hoping that those are some some good first time watches. Now next up is that table where I found sort of. Did not too much there, but some TV shows. And yeah, I picked up 
the the Muppet Show. Yay! Uh, says five bucks here. She said house three. So I got this loaded Muppet Show. It's in decent shape. It's got a, a few dings on it, like right there. A little shadoogie right there. Um, but yeah, three bucks for the first season of The Muppet Show. I'm excited for that. I think that's a, a fun snag. Um, now, to shout out my boy Gilbert. All right, so Gilbert's a, as a fan of the channel. Hi, Gilbert. Uh, thank you so much. I, I somehow, in all my visits always seem to miss his table. He's been there for a long time. Mr. Nichols, shout out to old Mr. Nichols, uh, would visit him quite a bit. But as I was digging through stuff at his table, he said hello. So uh, that was that nice little exchange that we had. And as a sort of, a, I don't know, a, a, I thank you very much. He sort of, he donated this to me. He gave this to me uh, as a as a treat to say, you know, I guess thank you for all the, the years of coming around the, the thing and, and doing what I do. So I, I didn't have any of these uh, on Blu-ray yet. And again, he says these will all play. They claim, you know, they have to claim that it's region B, region two, whatever. So uh, they can get away with that, but they're actually good to go. So uh, he said, man, thanks, Huck. So uh, they're yours. I appreciate you. And I was like, <laughs> he's so cool. So Gilbert, Dude, thank you so much. You're one of the good ones, man. You you really, you you were the highlight. Just having sort of that generosity. That's what was spilling out today all over the place. Everything a buck, a buck, a buck, buck twenty five, and then this. So th this is this is my highlight, buddy. You you've made the highlight of the day. Then finally, that last place. I'm I'm saving something very unique for last. Uh, so this is that dollar table, that area where it just had table after table. It was just too much people. The, the aisles were super small. We were all bumping into each other. But here's all the things I snagged for a buck. Got the Gil uh, Best of Gilda Radner. I just saw that uh, Saturday Night movie. It's all about the 90 minutes that led up to the very first night of Saturday Night Live. So I'm kind of on an SNL high right now. And I love Gilda. Also picked up the Mike Myers one. Um, let's see, we picked up this, okay, so, <laughs> this is a terrible movie, but it's the, the Rescue from Gilligan's Island. I have the Gilligan's Island collection, and for like one dollar, I've always just wanted to add this, and it kind of keeps climbing in price on Amazon, and this is also one of those thin ones, which is totally fine, because I'm probably going to take it out of this, and just add it into my Gilligan's Island set. Uh, and then just for fun... So I picked up the Bond. This is the uh, the Bond Girls Are Forever sealed DVD. You got this for free at Best Buy when you um, bought um, uh, Die Another Day. I have a copy of this, but I I feel like I might do some sort of custom thing with that one or this one. So for a dollar, I just picked up an extra copy and sealed a James Bond movie. Again, I don't need these. I can't watch these. I don't have VHS. But for nostalgia, this was sort of a day filled with nostalgia. I picked up uh, The World Is Not Enough on VHS. All right, so that's all the stuff, y'all. That's all the stuff. But one thing left. It is very unique, very interesting. I can't play it. I'll never be able to watch it. But for nostalgic purposes, Check it out, you. Uh, here it is, the Star Trek II Wrath of Khan old school laser disc. They call this the RCA Select Division Video Discs. Um, I didn't get into these. I got into laser discs when those became a thing, but I was always sort of fascinated by these. Look at these. I just love how it's like an album cover. It's really big and splashy, and you can really take advantage of that artwork on something with a canvas so big. So um, for history and nostalgia, I decided to go ahead and pick up just one of them. They had others too, but since again, I can't really play them, uh, I wasn't going to go crazy and get like a ton of them. So why not get one of my favorite franchises ever, Star Trek. And of course, they had Star Trek 2, my favorite of all the Star Trek movies, uh, on this video disc. So <laughs> there it is, y'all. That is it. <laughs> it's done. We are done. That is the end of my swap meet runs for a long time, unless another one opens up somewhere. But that is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If this video brought you here, thank you so much. Uh, get on down there, hit like, subscribe, smack the bell, leave a comment. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of all the stuff that I got. What was your favorite? What was interesting? Uh, and thank you again to Gilbert for that very generous gift. Dude, you're a rock star. That's it for today, y'all. Till next time.
Farewell, Swap Meet. Thanks for the memories. Thank you to all my cafe members for their support. And if you'd like to be a cafe member to help support the channel, please consider hitting that join button now.